Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to screen mirror wirelessly your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra directly to a Sanyo Roku TV. Now the first thing to note is when you connect the screen mirror, your uh, TV and your um, Galaxy Note need to be on the same home Wi-Fi network because that's what the connection is going through. Okay, you can kind of see there's like a slight lag. Oh, let me focus in. There's a slight lag on here depending on how, far your, how fast your Wi-Fi is. So it's not, you can't really play games if something that's really gra graphic intensive. However, you can show like work documents, photos and videos. You can surf, uh, you know, anything you show on here is gonna show up onto the big screen TV. Of course, you can always uh, turn it over, go into um, like landscape mode here as well. You can see, all right, so let me show you how to connect. Go ahead and grab your phone and then you want to swipe down the notifications like that and then you see like a little horizontal line right here you want to swipe down again and now what you want to look for is smart view samsung calls it the screen mirror smart view so my smart view is here if yours is not here you want to swipe over and just keep looking okay anyway smart view is right here let me go ahead and tap on that and give it one second it should find my my uh, sanyo roku tv it's right here just popped up let me tap on that then I get this message down here, start casting with smart view. I'm gonna click on start now. And in one second, I'll get a message down here on my TV. There it is right there. And if you click on allow, this message will always show up. If you click on always allow, then this message won't show up every time you screen mirror your Galaxy Note. But I'm just gonna go with allow right here. And then uh, give this one second. And voila, you can see that we're in business here. Now, really quickly, let me show you a um, photo and a video here, and especially the video in regards to the uh, audio, where the audio sound comes from. But let me click on gallery here, and let me show you a, a quick photo first. So you can see a photo there. Of course, you can go ahead, you can zoom in and out as well. Now, the thing is, when I play a video, let me show you a video I have on here. Let me play this video. Okay, so now you heard that the audio is coming out from the TV, but you can also switch it for the audio, the, the sound to come out from the, uh, the Note 20. So if you want to do that, what you can do is just go ahead and scroll down again, the notifications. And then from here, you should see something that says under smart things, it says audio output. So if I click on the down arrow right there, you can see that it's connected to my Sanyo Roku TV, but I can do my phone, my uh, Note 20 here. So if I click on that, and now when I play a video, I'll go back to the same video. Now the audio is coming out from my phone instead of the TV. And if you want to go ahead and disconnect from the smart view or the screen mirroring, you can just scroll down again and then scroll down again and then go back to wherever smart view was. But now it's the name of your TV. Mine says Sanyo Roku TV. Just go ahead and uncheck that. And then there you go, you're off, pretty simple.